Hi, I'm Christine Muris. I'm a member of Mercury 20, which is a artist-run gallery in the Oakland Arts District on 25th Street. And I'm going to be walking you through our current group show, 2020 Revision, which currently runs through the end of January. To see the work in person, you can make an appointment, and all the work in the show is available for viewing and purchase online. Sarah Lish's work evokes ether, which in medieval science was the material above the Earth's surface or the life force. In her series, Imaging the Moon, Pentea Karimi layers illustrations found in early Persian science manuscripts with her own recreation and interpretation of astronomical diagrams. Elizabeth Schur responds to this stressful time of social distancing, noting that virtual hugs are as good as it gets right now. Um, her paintings portray the need to reach out morning, noon, and night. Some of our artists are inspired by the city and the built environment, and Jill McLennan uh, creates her work in a variety of mediums. Here she's done hand-painted and hand-cut uh, tiles recording her observations of 2020. In his ongoing series, Neighborhood Nights, photographer Neo Serafimidis explores the mysterious quality that cars and houses take on at night. Charlie Milgram photographed the ruins of a decommissioned Bethlehem steel plant in Pennsylvania, tying a dystopic landscape to its monumental origins. A number of Mercury 20 artists referenced reinvention through patchwork and collage techniques. Uh, Mary Curtis Radcliffe was unable to produce the large-scale prints that she uses in her kinetic sculptures, so instead she turned to scraps that she had in her studio and created this entirely new um, body of work entitled Scrapworks. As her world contracted with the pandemic, so did the size of sculptor Kathleen King's work she began making five by seven collages made out of magazines found on daily walks. She exchanged these artworks with friends through the mail as a way to stay in touch, and these collages are a result of that project and part of an ongoing series titled Refusal and Refrain. During the ongoing COVID crisis, Leah Versick has found meaning in daily writing and drawing practices. And so for this show, she's put together hand-painted and hand-bound journals. Jessica Kadkin has made a grid of soft sculptures in Japanese fabric based on the two atomic bombs that were dropped on Japan in World War II.
At the beginning of the pandemic, I began revisiting books on my shelves that had been meaningful to me in the past, and I used the pages as templates to make these cut uh, paper pieces that I then re-sewed together in these intricate patterns. A number of Mercury 20 artists have spent the year reflecting on nature and its natural processes. In Johanna Pothig's work, she's layered patterns drawn from the natural world and its universal principles to imagine earth stations, sending signals to invite viewers to inhabit space in new ways. Joanne Biagini improvised these small, playful watercolors of undulating cell-like colorful shapes. Andrea Brewster's small sculptural pieces are created out of wet, formed vellum paper. They explore the delicate, energetic processes of the natural world. Tara Esperanza was moved to paint a favorite succulent varietal of hers against a dark red background. Um, those of us in the Bay Area experienced this dark red sky as a result of the fires in Northern California this summer, and she's represented it here. Photographer Peter Honing's work uh, confronts landscape, both internal and external, real and emotional. It's like memory. It's there, but it's obscure. Thanks for walking through Mercury 20 Gallery's 2020 revision with me. Check out our website for upcoming exhibition and current hours. Our 2021 exhibition calendar begins with two solo shows from Elizabeth Schur and Julianne Wallace-Sterling. <laughs>